to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I am Georgie, and if you're new here, and if you're old here, I have made a video in like eight to nine months. How weird, how rude of me. Anyways, okay, so basically, I have decided I'm gonna come back to YouTube. I have a bit of free time on the holidays, so I'm gonna come back and try my hardest to do this. I explained to you guys in this tutorial, well, kind of just like get ready with me, why I've been a bit, you know, absent from YouTube. So yeah, keep on watching, and yeah, if you wanna know why, keep on watching and I also want to shout out everyone who's encouraged me to kind of do this again and said like make a video like why haven't you done one like stop being lazy do it um yeah thank you so much because I feel like this is something I'm really passionate about and I just want to kick butt it's a new year happy new year let's do it so I'm just gonna get into some skincare first let's see what I have here um I have my Hyaluronic Day Cream, which I actually really love. I'll just put that on. I'm kind of going to use the viewfinder as a mirror just for a moment here. So, where do I start? Um, so, I haven't made a YouTube video in over like eight months. <laughs> Don't really know why. Well, like I know why I haven't, but it's really hard to kind of explain and I wish I did continue making them, but... It was, it's been tough, <laughs> not tough as in like I've gone through stuff, but like more like I've just been really extremely busy and that's like a lousy excuse, but I guess, well I started year 11 um, last year because we're in 2019, oh my god I can't believe I had to think about that, 2019, um, yeah because we're in 2019, I started year 11 and I was like really set on doing YouTube. I, I hadn't really done that many vi videos in the year before. I'd missed a fair few. But I was like really excited to because I do enjoy doing it. And then I guess it got into the year and I just realized I was struggling a lot with time management and I just think that I wasn't committed. And if you're gonna do YouTube, you really have to be committed. And it's using the time that is usually your spare time to just chill out. That's when I would do my YouTube videos, but I didn't even want to do it because I was so exhausted. So I think that's just why I stopped because I was just like, I'm not, I'm not even enjoying it because I'm using this time that I want to sit down and take a moment to just chill and breathe and not be, you know, dancing, not be at school, not be studying, not being like, I don't know, just everywhere. And it just felt like everything was just like too much for me. And even last year with dance, I had to take a lot of my dancing off because I was just like struggling and I was really tired all the time and really like sad and upset because I just was not getting, well, not kicking goals that I, I really wanted to. and. Year 11 was always going to be tough because in high school I didn't focus enough and I knew that going into year 11 that I had to like kick my butt and get into it and like I don't know I just think that I wasn't committed enough to do YouTube for that year. Yeah. Oh that's the shower okay. Good luck with that. So when I would work out the time to um film a video it would also be at a point where I like had lost a lot of confidence and I think also going into college like I was really nervous about college and I really wanted to make better friends and new friends and I think I was just like so so nervous that I didn't want to be posting and YouTube videos and have all these new college people like paint me as like you know, oh, you're that girl that does YouTube, like, I don't know, I think I was just really low in confidence and every time I would build up the time to make a video, I didn't have the courage or the confidence to do it, so that as well was like a bit of a downer and I think that if I'm going to do YouTube, it has have to be like a want, um, yeah, but now I'm in a point where I'm a bit more comfortable and a bit more confident to do this and I think I'm really determined to do as much as I can but with that being said I think that these next videos I start doing um, are going to be 
just when I can. They're not going to be consistent, but I know that when I finish college, it will definitely be consistent, but I'm not gonna promise anything because you know, in a year's time, I could be on a whole different path and you know, I might have, might have no interest in doing YouTube, but um, for now, I do still have an interest in it and I think it's just gonna be a matter of doing it as I can. Like, for example, my formal vlog, I would love to do another one this year when I have my year 12 formal I think that'd be amazing um, I have like almost 20k views on that I don't know how but I just like racked up a bunch of views so I would like love to do that because that's like one of my favorite videos and I rewatch it all the time um, even like my 18th birthday vlog like I want to do things like that and do a couple tutorials um, yeah in like the in between but I can't guarantee that the videos are going to be consistent I would love for them to be but they're probably not gonna be and I think that's okay um, and also, if you've ever looked at my channel, which I highly doubt any of you have, between my last video and this, you'll notice that I privated a lot of them, and that's also because I, like, was not interested in the videos that I made before. I felt like they were not a true indication of, like, what I want to do. They weren't up to the standard that I wish they were. Like, I want to come out with some cool editing. Like, obviously, it's really hard. Like, I don't know how to do it, so it's really hard for me to do editing. But those videos were just, like, not cool enough for me anymore. Like, I was like, that does not cut it. Like, I want to do something incredible. Like, I don't know. I just feel like that me was so different, and that sounds so lame. But I feel like I've changed a lot since those videos, and I'm ready to make some better content. Let's go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Here is this... Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curling Enhancing, oh, Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I'm gonna just take some of that. This is like the third time I've used it. Um, it's like a really weird consistency. I actually learned this from Jamie Jo on Instagram. I'll probably link her. Well, actually, I'll just put her name on the thing, um, on the screen. She take like a fair bit of it. Oh, I'm fresh out the shower, by the way. And you just push it through. Let's itch my ear for like 10 seconds. Okay, so now that we've finished the brows and concealing and our skin is looking somewhat snatched, we're going to do some bronzer and I'll talk to you guys a bit more. Okay, so it's like summer. In Australia in Canberra right now and it is like really hot I'm sweating but I'm gonna do this I can hear my mom screaming I'm gonna put this Too Faced dark chocolate soleil bronzer I've hit pan it's one of my faves I think the color match is just like perfect for me that's why I like it all right so if you don't know and you don't follow me on Instagram this is also another thing that is in the way of YouTube and life and dance and just pretty much everything. Um, I dislocated my kneecap. Just stay, stay, stay. When I finally found the word. Um, yeah, so it was a really fun experience. I'm just kidding. But um, it was something that happened, I think, December the 5th or it was somewhere... It was just before Christmas or maybe even like 15th or something like that. So... I was doing a jazz class and this was like the second week of me doing like dance from 4 to 9.15 on a Wednesday. So I would teach two hours and then I would go do a few hours of jazz and um, like kick sleeps and turns which is a class where you do like heaps of flexibility and stretching and it's like building your strength. So I did that and I was in that class and I went to do this really simple move which is a fan kick and I'll try and explain it. So this is like your... Um, this is my down leg and then this is my kicking leg. So my kicking leg went like that and then my down leg, which is my left leg, gave way and my kneecap dislocated and as I fell, it popped back in and it was really painful and at the time I was like, I felt it and I was like, okay, something is bad and I said, I think I might have dislocated my knee. And then I was kind of just sitting there and at first I was like, okay, that felt really bad. But then I was like, no, nah, like I'll be good. Like I can get up again. Like I was like, that's not a dislocation. Like that wouldn't happen to me. But like, I was like still really like in here, like scared. Um, my teacher was like, oh, okay. I think it's, you should go home. Like it's not too good. You should go home. I was like, yeah, that's fine. And obviously I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Crying. Anyways, I went to the doctor. I went to this really weird doctor because my dad didn't want to go to the hospital. So he took me to this random doctor 
and because he just didn't want to wait and this doctor gave me the wrong diagnosis and said that I had a strained meniscus and that I should go on crutches for a few days. He didn't recommend getting an MRI. He didn't recommend icing it, even though my knee was like incredibly swollen. So I went and got, so, oh, he also said to get painkillers. So I went and got crutches and painkillers the next day and was like, cool. And then my mom booked a physio later on anyways, a couple days after, cause she was like, oh, just in case, you know, we, it might be good to get checked out. And like, I didn't think much of it, like I knew it hurt and the first night when I went to sleep it was really painful but I was like it'll be all right it wasn't too bad and then I went to the physio and the physio was like okay this looks really bad and that's when I was just like oh what and then she was like yeah um, let's get an MRI and then she told me what she thought had happened and she was like yeah worst case you'll have to be in a knee brace for a bit um, six weeks and I was like okay like that won't happen like I'll be fine um, and it's like creeping up to Christmas time. I'm like, look, I'll be fine. Like this, I ne like I've never had an injury before, so it's like I'm not gonna get. It's not gonna be that. And then I went and got the MRI done, and we waited over the weekend. And she gave me some stretches and stuff to do. And then um, when we found when we went to the physio, we found out that it was actually really bad, and I dislocated my kneecap. And I had actually done something to my meniscus before when I was younger and I've always had pains in my knees so that explains it and yeah basically I had to be in a brace and I'll show you it Ugh. a brace for pretty much Christmas time was when I got it on so I had to have my leg completely straight for two weeks which was over the Christmas and New Year's period <laughs> so that was really fun um, and now I can bend it a bit more I don't know if you can see in the background but I can bend it a bit more which is really good um, it's definitely been an experience for me I've never had an injury before but I think it definitely humbled me because I was like dead set like I'm gonna be a dancer like rah, rah, rah. but like I think this experience was like okay you need to chill you need to stretch, you need to not throw yourself into heaps of dance just thinking you can do it because you're getting older, you can't do that. Anyways, I'm gonna get into my Fenty Beauty Sangria Sunset and my Mimosa Sunrise highlighter thing. I use this as a blush and it's amazing as a blush. I would highly recommend. I take the orange side and I just douse the brush in it. And I just like put it on. It's kind of like highlighty, but I don't care. It looks pretty. I'm just going to take some Morphe setting spray. This is amazing. The mist is incredible. Oh, well, that's nice because it's hot. I hope my makeup looks okay. I'm going to put some Fenty Gloss Bar on in Fenty Glow. This Fenty Gloss is literally the best thing. Oh, I bet. It smells good. It tastes good. Not that you should lick it, but like, it might get in your mouth. And that's okay, it's just good. Um, oh, love it, love it, love it. So, um, I have like 200 of these, like just lying around the house. Like I have the different color, like Fussy and Vendigo. And I literally use it every day. It was like my favorite thing the whole time. I might take some of this Fit Me Maybelline powder and take my Morphe sponge. It's not damp, it's dry. I'm just gonna take some of that and cut the crease. Oh, and that um, Fit Me powder is in the lightest shade, which is it like fair or something like that. I just got up and did that because that was intense to do. Anyways, I'm back. This mascara, by the way, is um, L'Oreal Lush Paradise, and you can only get it in America. So I'm really sad because it's like my favorite mascara. If you guys know where else you can get it, it's L'Oreal Lash Paradise Volumin or something like that. It's literally the best mascara for me ever. Okay, so that is me done for my first video of 2019 and probably a bit of 2018 because I was a lazy shit. Um, I hope you enjoyed. This was really fun for me to make. Um, I'm just checking my phone. I really want to get my hair cut short. Let me know if you think I should or shouldn't. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, I would love to keep doing this and I feel like I'm on a good roll, so hopefully I do. Um, yeah, peace.